Hey, what's up? Robert here coming at you with another Sony Vegas tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at making it sound like someone is thinking to themselves. So the other day I got a comment asking, I want to make it sound like someone is thinking like what is in their thoughts. So instead of just replying to this comment, I thought I'd share it with everyone. Now it's basically a matter of adding reverb to the audio, but we'll also take a look at recording the audio. To start off, we're going to create an audio track to record on. As you can see, I already have an audio track that I recorded on, and this is the track that we'll be adding the reverb to. But in your project, you can just right click, insert audio track, or use the shortcut key control Q, and we need to arm this for record. That way we won't have to worry about recording on other tracks. So over here, this button that looks like target, arm for record. Now you can see the levels moving with my voice. So then after that, I can come down here and click the other target that says record, or you can also hit control R. When I click this, I'm going to be able to record something, but I'm also going to hear the audio on this track. So I can just solo this track and hit record and I can record whatever I want. Once you hit stop, pause, or record, you'll get this recorded files dialog window. And this just tells you the tracks that you recorded in the name. I'm going to actually delete this since I already have my track recorded. So click done and I can actually delete this audio track. All right, so this is the track that we want to add the reverb to. We can preview it right now without the reverb, see how it sounds. Hmm, what should I do? Hmm, I ate five minutes ago, so I, I, I don't think I'm gonna eat. I'm a little hungry though. Okay, so now let's add that reverb. We can either add this to each audio track one by one by going into the event effects, or we can add it to the entire track, which is what I'm going to do today. Let's come over here in the track header area, come up here to track effects, click that, and here we have our audio track effects. Something else that you may not know is that when you get these pop-up windows and you try moving them around, you see they try docking themselves in the Vegas window. To stop that from happening, simply hold down the control button on your keyboard and you can move it around freely. So I can position it right here, right where I want it to be. To add this reverb, we're simply going to come up here and click the plugin chain icon to add a new plugin. With all selected over here in the folders, let's find reverb. Right there it is. We can either double click it or click add. As long as it's up there, we should be good to go. Click OK and here we have the reverb effect. Now I found the preset Bright Hall seems to work pretty good for this. So just click Bright Hall. And one thing I did change was I brought the reverb out down a bit around negative 30.5 decibels. Now let's take a look at how that sounds. Hmm, what should I do? Hmm, I ate five minutes ago, so I, I, I don't think I'm gonna eat. I'm a little hungry though. Actually, I, I, I could eat. That sounds, that sounds like something that could be done. Hmm, hmm, some dog food sounds pretty good right now. Oh yeah, I think I think I might go eat some more. Is there any more over there? I don't know. Is this bird in the background gonna attack me? Scary. I'm a girl dog, so this voice doesn't make sense. And there you have it. Sounds pretty good. We can close out of this audio track effect dialogue window, and you've just added reverb to your audio. This can be pretty useful if you have video where you need to make it look like someone is thinking to themselves. Or, you know, you just take a video of a random person on the sidewalk and add your own thoughts to his thoughts. There you have it. If you like this video, be sure to click that little like button down below. If you'd like to see more like this, click that little subscribe button up at the top. All the links to follow me are in the description below. I hope this helped. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.